over 20 years, Martha's Table has offered meals to residents in Kingston. Today, we're here to find out more. Now, Rhonda, Martha's Table seems to be such a success story. How long has it been here? Uh, Martha has been, has been in Kingston since 1997. And it started not quite as, as uh, great a location as you have now. Well, it was a different location. We shared space with um, some great organizations. We started at uh, St. Mary's School, and then we moved to Chalmers United Church, and now we're here. This is our, we hope, our permanent home. And this was originally a restaurant. It was. It's had a few lives. It was Jen Corelli's, a cooking school at one time, a Scottish pub, and now Martha's. All right. And you serve how many people a day? It's about 200 a day. We do breakfast, lunch, and dinner now. And uh, last year, we did about 49,000 meals. Wow, that's a lot of food. Where does the food all come from? It's a community effort. We are truly a community program. We receive food um, from schools, churches, people, um, restaurants, caterers. I'm probably missing some, but from anywhere in the community. It has to be prepared in a commercial kitchen or gardens. Um, people can plant extra in their garden, bring in produce, tomatoes, zucchini. So it really is a great community. Okay, and how do you decide what the menu is? Well, we base our menu on a few factors. Some people visit Martha's Table every day of the week. So we need variety, we need nutrition, a well-balanced diet. What's on sale? what has been brought in and donated by the great Kingstonians that we work with. Um, so good food, it has to taste good. People have to enjoy eating it. So it's a lot of things. We ask our volunteers to help us with that creative input as well. So um, it's like cooking in your own kitchen when you open the refrigerator and say, what's for dinner tonight? It is, it is. And if we've had beef, roast beef for dinner tomorrow, we're probably having soup with the roast beef in it, right? So it's just like a home. Okay, and you've, you've, a few new things have happened in the last few months. Yes, we're really pleased uh, with, uh, uh, last year we offered breakfast, so that's new, and we now have a social support worker on hand, front line at Martha's Table, and it's changing what we do. Our focus has always been food and will be food, but our guests are coming in and it's a safe space for them. They're used to it and they're welcomed. Now they can approach somebody for great advice. How can I deal with this situation. Um, how can I find a new house or a doctor or how can I um, qualify for this job? How do I fill out these forms? I'm really upset about this. We have somebody here to help them with that now. And I noticed you have yeah. computer terminals. Yes, we have Wi-Fi in the facility, computer classes, we have sewing and knitting classes, art music class, um, shoulder and neck massage, and we hope to get haircuts back in place again. And now, are these free meals for anybody who comes to your door? Breakfast and lunch are no charge. Dinner is a dollar. So the idea is um, we're offering our programs in a way that enhances dignity and offers respect. It's professional. Um, so as if anybody is going into a restaurant, our guests are treated exactly the same and they're paying for their meal. So this is not like a soup kitchen? No, and soup kitchens are great, but this is a full service restaurant. So we bus tables, we pour drinks, we bring the food out. Yeah. It's really nice. Who serves the food? Volunteers. Again, Kingstonians are fabulous and we are fortunate to have a crew that will come out and serve those meals and clear those tables and sweep them up the floors. It's uh, a, a volunteer crew. And what does it take to be a volunteer here? We have made a big effort to make it easy to volunteer at Martha's Table. Fill out some forms on our website, come to an orientation, which is really exciting. <laughs> we talk about health and safety, what you can expect as a volunteer at Martha's Table, and then you're ready to go. Jobs are streamlined, easy to learn and easy to do. Um, work at your level, we meet you where you are. Um, if you have something to show us, we're all yours, right? So it's, a, again, just working together to get the meal done. And we really do need your help. It's a uh, summer season. Um, any time of the year, though, is a good time, but um, it takes about 18, volunteers in the afternoon to run the restaurant and as many as we can get in the morning to make the meals and prep the, the, the dining room. So um, if you're looking to meet new people, learn new skills, share your skills, this is a great place to come and do it. It's a really positive environment and uh, you never know who you're going to meet. It's a great place to be. To find out how you can volunteer at Martha's Table or play some other role, visit their website. For K-Town Source, I'm Donna Chambers. Mm -hmm.